Welcome to Understanding Sailor Data Connectivity for M2M. Whether you're planning to upgrade a legacy dial-up system or to install a new data communication system, familiarity with traditional dial-up modem technology can lead to misconceptions about cellular data communication technology. This video is a brief overview of how today's cellular data communication technology differs from legacy dial-up technology. The material presented in this video will expose some common misunderstandings about cellular data communication and will illustrate how cellular data communication actually works. Then I'll direct you to some online documentation that provides a further understanding of these topics. The material presented in this video refers to cellular modems, but applies to cellular gateways as well. There are three questions that expose the most common misunderstandings about cellular data communications. Question one, can a cellular modem connect to an analog modem? In today's cellular networks, a cellular modem cannot connect with an analog modem through the cellular network and the telephone network due to technical limitations of the networks and of the modems. Question two, can a cellular modem connect through a cellular network to another cellular modem? Usually no, not with a normal type of cellular data service provisioned by the cellular operator. Question three, can a cellular modem connect over the internet to another cellular modem? Usually no, not with a normal type of cellular data service provisioned by the cellular operator and not without risking malicious attacks from the internet. Later in this video, you will see some solutions that make cellular modem to cellular modem connections possible. So if not those type of cellular connections, how does a cellular modem actually connect? The diagrams that follow in this video will illustrate several achievable scenarios. As with any networking solution, every application is unique, and the details of your application will dictate the best cellular networking approach. The simplest cellular connection uses a remote cellular modem to initiate the connection over the internet to the IP address or URL of an application running on a server. If the server is protected by a firewall, the cellular modem and the firewall can be configured to allow a VPN to tunnel through the firewall to the server. Once the connection is made, data can transfer across the connection in either direction. If an application requires that the server initiates the connection to the remote cellular modem, one possible solution is to provision the cellular modem with a public static IP address. Once the connection is made, data can transfer across the connection in either direction. While this approach is achievable technically, it may not be practical. Public static IP addresses are not available from all cellular service providers, or may cost extra. Also, the cellular modem at a public IP address on the internet is vulnerable to denial of service attacks, which can cause expensive overage charges on your cellular data plan. Here is a solution that does not use a public static IP address. The cellular modem is provisioned with a public dynamic IP address and is configured to use a public DNS to define a fixed URL for the cellular modem. Once the server makes a connection to the URL, data can transfer across the connection in either direction. While this approach doesn't have the drawback of a static IP address, it still uses a public IP address on the internet that is vulnerable to denial of service attacks. Here is a solution that does not use a public IP address. A cellular service provider, such as an MVNO, that offers a private cellular data network can provision the cellular modem with a private static IP address. To allow the server to reach their private network, the cellular service provider must also configure a VPN that allows the server to tunnel through the MVNO firewall into the private network. 
Once the connection is made to the private IP address, data can transfer across the connection in either direction. If an application requires that a cellular modem initiate the connection to another cellular modem, one possible solution is to provision the destination modem with a public static IP address. Once the connection is made, data can transfer across the connection in either direction. While this approach is achievable technically, it may not be practical. Public static IP addresses are not available from all cellular service providers or may cost extra. Also, a cellular modem at a public IP address on the Internet is vulnerable to denial of service attacks, which can cause expensive overage charges on your cellular data plan. Here is a solution that does not use a public static IP address. The destination modem is provisioned with a public dynamic IP address and is configured to use a public DNS to define a fixed URL for the destination modem. Once the originating cellular modem makes a connection to the URL, data can transfer across the connection in either direction. While this approach doesn't have the drawback of a static IP address, it still uses a public IP address on the Internet that is vulnerable to denial of service attacks. Here is a modem-to-modem -modem solution that does not use a public IP address. A cellular service provider, such as an MVNO, that offers a private network can provision the destination modem with a private static IP address. To allow the originating modem to reach the destination IP address, the cellular service provider must also support peer-to-peer -peer routing within their network. Once the connection is made, data can transfer across the private connection in either direction. In this video, I've shown you three misunderstandings about cellular data connectivity that are not achievable with conventional cellular data service and several types of achievable cellular data communications solutions, some of which have drawbacks that may not be acceptable for some applications, and three practical solutions for cellular to server, server to cellular, and cellular to cellular data connectivity. To learn more about using cellular modems and cellular networks for data communications, please visit www.usr.com slash cellular slash A to C or download the Cellular to Cellular Data Communications Explained white paper from www.usr.com slash cellular slash C to C. I hope you found this video helpful for understanding how cellular data communications works differently than legacy dial-up. Thank you for watching and thank you for choosing U.S. Robotics.